How's it going you guys? It's Marshall here with Fit Alkaline Mixer and today we're going to be finding out the pH levels of just about every single bottle of water you can find at the store. Or at least every single bottle of water that I could find at my local supermarket shelf. So today to be testing the pH, we're going to be using these pH drops and when you drop this into the water, it's going to change its color from a red to a dark blue all the way to a purple color. Um, with the red meaning a pH level of 4 or below, and a purple color meaning a pH level of 10 or higher. Um, so in front of me we have 15 total water bottles, and it's going to be a mixed group of uh, bottled mo normal bottled water and bottled water that's marketed as high pH alkaline bottled water. So let's go ahead and get this started. Let's split them up into two different groups, so we'll start with the normal bottled water first. So for our first round of normal bottled water, here we have Capel, Dasani, Smart Water, um, Just Water, Evian, Boss, Aquafino, and, and Crystal Geyser. Um, we're going to go ahead and start with Propel as it's our uh, only flavored uh, water here, so I'm guessing it's going to be the most acidic. So we'll go ahead and crack it open and see the results. Um, so now we're going to go ahead and move on to the Dasani here. Drop our drops in here. Interesting. So the Dasani appears to be giving us pretty much the same color as uh, the Propel here which is also going to be around the, the 5 to 6 pH range. Now we move on to the smart water. That open. pH drops. So the smart water is giving us a yellowish green hue, so uh, it's around like six, six and a half-ish area, which is kind of disappointing for smart water here. Um, so next time we're going to move on to the just water, just packaged in this interesting paper-based bottle here. Crack that open. Cup. Get our pH drops in there. Oh wow, so that's significantly better than all the previous ones we've tested. That's actually going to be alkaline around an 8. I uh, don't think it's advertised as alkaline water, but surprising. So that was a, that's a nice surprise. It's actually going to be a high pH alkaline water there, just water. Next thing we're going to move on to, let's go ahead and check out the pH for the Evian. Let's squeeze our pH drops in there. Evian is also giving us a nice blue V2. It's not quite as dark as the Jess water, but it's definitely um, around in the seven to, seven to eight pH range there. So also not a bad pH for the Evian water. Next on the list, we have the Voss water here. Break this seal. Uh, that's pretty disappointing. So it's giving us a yellow color. So it's going to fall on the more acidic side around the pH of 6 or so around there. 
So next up, let's go ahead and test the Aquafina. Alright, pH drops. That's going to be giving us a more orange than yellow color, especially compared to the boss water over here. So that's going to be around the 5 pH or so. Pretty acidic. And lastly, we have our crystal geyser. Let's get this open. Put in our drops. So it appears the Crystal guys is going to be giving us a nice greenish, dark greenish hue, um, but definitely not blue, so it's going to be right there along the neutral pH level. So not bad on the Crystal Geyser. So now that we got the pH levels of uh, all of our normal water bottles here, let's take a look at how they all stack up. So now let's begin our group of high pH labeled bottled waters. Um, so we're going to have Core, Eternal Water, uh, Stater Bros Market branded alkaline water, Aqua Hydrate, Essentia, um, Essence, and then lastly the Fit Alkaline Mixer, which we will be squirting into the Crystal Geyser, which we saw earlier had a nice neutral 7 pH level there. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with core. And our pH drops. Let's see how it does. So the core water is labeled as a rat, having a perfect pH level around 7.4 and the color indicates that it's definitely around that range 7.4 to 8 pH range based on the color. Next up we have the eternal water. This is a naturally alkaline water it's marketed as 7.8 to 8.2 pH level. Let's see how it does. Put in our pH drops. That does appear to be right on target with its level around the 8 pH level based on that color. Next up we have the 99 cent store branded alkaline water. Let's see how this does. into the cup. Okay, drops here. And pretty impressive the cheap store brand alkaline water giving us a nice dark blue color teetering around the purple level so just as advertised on that. So next up we have the Aqua Hydrate. It's advertised as pH 9 plus. Let's see how it does. And that is definitely giving us a nice dark blue color. Um, I don't think it's as purple as the store bought, but it's definitely a 9 plus pH water. Next up now we have the Essentia. Put in our 
Okay, it's drops. And yet again now we are we're getting a nice dark blue borderline on the purple hues there. So definitely true to marketed the nine and a half pH level on that guy. Next up is essence. This is labeled as the highest pH out of all the waters we are testing today. Let's see how it does. So let's put our pH drops into the essence water here. Definitely giving some dark blue to purplish hues, but uh, it doesn't appear to be any darker than the other high pH waters here. But it's definitely a nine and a half or higher pH level on the essence water. And lastly, we have the fit alkaline mixer. We're gonna go ahead and uh, put in some crystal geyser first, and let's see uh, if we can make this neutral water alkaline. Put that in there. Go ahead, put the drops in there to see that it is indeed a neutral crystal geyser. Now we're gonna drop in the boost uh, fit, Let's see how it does. And just like that, uh, the fit alkaline mixer definitely has turned the crystal geyser into a nice dark blue color there. So definitely above a nine pH level on the fit. So there you have it, you guys. As you can see, all of the high pH bottled water tested fairly well, um, with the core and the eternal water being the lowest, but of course they're marketed as being right around that seven and a half to eight pH range, which they definitely are. And then the store brand, the Aqua Hydrate, Essentia, Essence, and the Fit Alkaline Mixer all definitely got around the same um, pH test. They're all around the same color, that nice dark blue color, nine and a half pH or above on all of these guys here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that video and I really hope that this um, helps you guys in your future water bottle buying purchases in the future. And if you guys like that video, please go ahead and give us a like, subscribe, and thank you for watching.